Good evening, I'm Nathless and I'm reporting live from Hollyhurst Training Grounds, the Metropolitan Police main training base. On Saturday, this parade ground will be filled with policemen and women from across the globe, all coming together as one for a joint inspection. This is very different to what you'd see from a normal global inspection. Typically, you'd see military forces coming together, but this is a unique moment within the community. ITV correspondent Hi There spoke to Commonwealth Secretary Sheik via Zoom earlier today. Find out what he had to say here. Thanks, Nathalys. I'm ITV correspondent Jack, and I'm here today by the Commonwealth Secretary General Xi by Zoom today. Xi, can you hear me? Uh, How are you? Yeah, is my mic on? I think so, yeah. yeah. All right, all right. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. Shall we uh, move on to some questions? I'll be my guest. Great. So what is happening in the Hollyhurst um, on Saturday for the Commonwealth? Uh, well, we're having an inspection for the Commonwealth Policing Organization. Cool. So who is confirmed to be attending the event so far? Uh, so far, we have the nations that are confirmed to be attending are Ireland, the Cayman Islands, uh, the Falkland Islands, and we have some countries that are still getting their assets together to be sent to the inspection grounds, such as Belize, Gibraltar, Bangladesh, and Malaysia. And of course, the royal family will be there to inspect as well. Oh, right. What is your opinion on the Compol director running for the Commonwealth Minister as part of the Labour Party? Uh, well, honestly, personally, I don't see a conflict of interest as the Compol cha chairman only seeks to organize and like facilitate Compol in its events. However, it does hinder his if it does if it does hinder his duties, which I doubt it will, then action will have to be taken. I do trust Luke not to use his position as Compo Chairman to further himself as a minister for the UK, but I think he'll continue his good service by always keeping his hard work, you know, ethics up, as he always does. So, yeah, I'm pretty confident he'll do fine. All right, cool. Um, I have another question for you. So will you be running for the re-election once your term is over? Or no, I actually look forward to the end of my term <laughs> in April, uh, as it's taken quite a toll on myself and left me questioning many values and principles that I'd rather not endure another three months of. <laughs> uh, okay, so I wish I, I, I wish you the best of luck until April, and hopefully we might see you around again. Thank you. Um, thank yes. you, Chi, for being very insightful. We appreciate it. Back to you, Nathalus.